Welcome back to Indian Times. Today, the top 10 headlines from Punjab are: Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has hinted at increasing taxes, including excise duty. He said that GST was a good thing, but the BJP government had failed in its implementation. He added that the state had no other option but to do so. A 2000 crore rupees road map to end stubble burning in Punjab and Haryana has been submitted in the Supreme Court. It suggests that the government must provide equipment to farmers for free instead and the cost be recovered by imposing cess on petrol and diesel sales in Delhi. Elections to Punjab's three municipal corporations of Amritsar, Jalandhar and Patiala and 32 nagar councils and nagar panchayats will be held on December 17. With the announcement of the schedule the model code of conduct has come into force immediately. The Supreme Court has stayed the order of a Fazil Ka court summoning Aam Aadmi Party leader Sukhpal Khaira in a drugs case. Khaira meanwhile asked the High Court to revive his 2015 petition demanding an independent investigation into the charges against him. Former Union Law Minister and ex-MP Ashwini Kumar has lauded CM Amrinder Singh's comments regarding the need for a fair trial of those guilty of drug trafficking and illegal mining. Kumar supported Amrinder's insistence on a trial without political prejudice. Punjab Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has written to Defence Minister Nirmala Sitharaman. He has asked the ministry to review its decision to restrict its educational expenses paid to children of martyrs. National passenger carrier Air India will introduce a direct flight between Chandigarh and Bangkok from December 11, 2017. The new service is in response to the long-standing demand of passengers from Punjab, Himachal Pradesh and Haryana. The Punjab Lottery Department has made it absolutely clear that the state government is not running any online lottery. Some anti-social elements have reportedly been committing fraud with people in the name of the bumper lottery schemes. Guru Gram's Fortis Hospital has been found guilty of irregularities. A four-member panel was probing the death of a 7-year-old girl at the hospital and the subsequent bill of almost rupees 16 lakhs slapped on the parents. Her dance performance on Nagara Sang Dhol song during Miss World 2017 pageant made many of her co-contestants think that she's a Bollywood actress. But Manushi Chiller is not eyeing Bollywood as of now. The Haryana girl wants to complete her medical education after her tenure as Miss World gets over. I'll be back say logged on to indiantimescity.com as news from Canada follows.